This is the Jetson Bolt Pro folding electric bike from Costco and arguably the most affordable electric bike for all ages. Please watch the rest of the review to find out why everyone is raving about this electric bike. If you are a current owner of the Jetson Bolt Pro, please do me a favor and list one thing you like about this electric bike in the comment section below. We reviewed this awesome e-bike in this channel about a year ago and wanted to do a follow-up review to tell everyone what you need to know about this mighty but powerful electric bike and all the upgrades we have made to this electric bike since we purchased it last year. For the new viewers, my name is Shiva Sapkota. I'm an engineer out here in Colorado, USA. I make videos on electric vehicles such as Tesla, electric bikes, and electric scooter. If you like what you see here today, please consider being a channel subscriber. Even though I talk very highly about this electric bike and made a lot of videos about this bike, I am in no way affiliated with Jetson or Costco. I paid full price for both of my Jetson Bolt Pros. I used one of my bikes to make all the modifications and show you everything and how to modify, how to accessorize. And I have this one. This is sort of my control bike. I haven't modified it. I haven't added any accessories to this bike. This is exactly how you purchase from Costco. Matter of fact, I have contacted Jetson multiple times on potentially doing reviews of their other e-bikes that they sell, such as the previous generation Bolt or other electric bikes and electric scooter that they sell on their website. I love this bike so much and I thought maybe my subscribers would be interested on other products that they sell and I was potentially going to review those. But every time I reach out to Jetson, I have heard nothing from them. So just wanted to make that very clear that my reviews are unbiased. I'm just super excited about this bike. I was shocked when I saw this bike for sale at Costco for $299 last year. I thought there is no harm on giving it a try. If anything, Costco has a very generous return policy if I'm not fully satisfied. I was thinking the bike has to be cheap given that price point. To my disbelief, the bike ended up being amazing and it still gives me a tough competition to higher priced e-bikes. Costco increased the pricing to $329 in a store and $349 online. This is undoubtedly one of the hottest selling e-bikes ever built. Many of you have said you brought a Jetson Bolt Pro for your kid or a relative and ended up loving it so much that you bought several more for everyone in the family. Price is not the only factor that makes this electric bike addicting and such a good deal. The bike features 350 watt hub motor that helps with up to 15 degrees incline and much better than the typical 250 watt motors that we see in other electric bikes. You can pedal to use this e-bike as a regular bike and if you get tired, you can turn on the motor power. This bike features mechanical disc brakes, which are much better than rim brakes in my opinion. The Jetson Bolt Pro has 14 inch wheels. The portability of this bike is another big plus. It folds and unfolds very easily. You just have to unclip this mechanism on the handlebar stem. It also has a convenient carrying handle. At just 41 pounds, this bike is one of the lightest e-bikes in its class. It fits well inside a sedan like my Tesla Model 3. The unfolded dimension of this bike is 46.5 inches by 19.3 inches by 38.6 inches. The folded dimension become 46.5 inches by 19.3 inches by 23 inches. It has a max weight limit of 265 pounds. The recommended age group for this bike is 12 and up. Even though the bike is quite small, I have been told by some of my subscribers that they are over 6 feet in height and still use this e-bike on a regular basis. They had to purchase an extended seat post. It features a 36 volt 6 amp hour lithium ion battery that can give you up to 15 miles of range in full throttle and 30 miles with pedal assist. More on the speed limit and increasing the range later in the video. The Jetson Bolt Pro has a power button on the left side and also a mechanical bell. On the right side, it has a display that shows battery level, multifunction button that activates headlight and cruise control, and a twist throttle. Here is a quick glimpse of feedback I have received about this electric bike. All those people cannot be wrong that this bike is fun, practical, addicting, and best of all, super affordable. When I saw there was a lot of interest in this bike and folks weren't getting the support they needed to navigate this bike, accessorize it, and modify it to fit their needs, 
I decided to push out as many videos as I could to help everyone. After all, I'm an engineer, I'm curious, and I want to make things better. So first, I did a video answering all the questions I received about this bike based on the first video I posted. I then showed everyone the basic accessories you might want for your electric bike. It does not come with a rear rack and a storage bag. So I installed a few accessories, which I will put a link in the description here. Then, I featured some super cool accessories that makes this electric bike even better. Add safety to it and make it more useful, such as a phone holder, LED lights, and other reflective lights. After that, I keep getting questions about how I can get more range out of this electric bike. I knew you couldn't just increase the range because the battery capacity was limited to 6 amp power, so needed another battery. So I decided to make a detailed tutorial on adding a second battery. How to open the controller housing, how to do all the wirings, where to add the second battery, what type of battery you need to get, everything very detailed. With the second battery modification and getting over 30 miles per charge, this bike really started competing with much more expensive e-bikes. Now, we just needed to make it go faster. I did a lot of research and ended up just upgrading the motor controller and showed everyone how to do it. With the increased speed, higher range, fully accessorized, this bike really became a true powerhouse. Over time, I have added multiple videos anywhere from brake pad replacement, loose handlebar stand, flat tire repair, security system, and much more. I will include the playlist of all of my Jetson Bolt Pro videos here. As you can tell, I love this bike and so do thousands of other people around the world. As you can see in my comment section, all the positive comments about this bike. I haven't needed much maintenance for this bike, but I think my tires are gonna be wearing out soon. So I am going to be making a detailed step-by-step -step installation guide for the tires and inner tubes for this bike soon. I also hope to make many other videos like I have done in the past about this bike in the future. There are a few things that I wish this bike came from the factory. First of all, the app control. The previous generation Jetson Bolt without the pedals have that app control where you can change the speed and you can go all the way to you know, 18, 19 miles per hour by just controlling in the app, which this bike has all the features the, the motor wattage, the battery power, everything is the same, except the speed is limited on this bike and there is no way to change that unless you get a Bluetooth module and, or you just upgrade your controller like what I did. So I do wish you know Jetson would make app control available for this bike. I also wish it has some kind of an ignition key for a security lock, but I am going to be showing you how to do that in the future. Also keep in mind that when battery runs out, it becomes very difficult to pedal depending on where you are riding. If you're trying to go uphill and trying to pedal on this little bike, it might become very, very difficult because unlike a normal bike, there's no gears or anything and you're trying to work against the motor for electric bike, which is very common for electric bikes. To wrap up my one year review, the Jetson Bolt Pro folding electric bike from Costco has been amazing and one of the best $300 investment I ever made. Just to be clear that this bike is awesome without any of those mods and accessories that need to add. If you're just looking for an entry-level bike with some impressive spec like a 350 watt motor, you know, six amp power lithium ion battery that gives you 15 miles depending on your weight and where you're riding. If that is enough for you, this bike is great for a $330 price tag currently. I have been told by some of my subscribers that they use this electric bike for deliveries, just commuting on their regular jobs, just getting around your trails, and also for exercising purposes. If you would like to learn more about user experience of this bike and practicality of this electric bike, please just head over to one of my videos and click through the comment section and read through how people use this bike. It is very evident that People have different purposes on why they purchased this electric bike. Some folks purchased it for their kids. They loved it so much that they ended up purchasing another one for themselves. So there's a lot of stories that you can read in my comment section of how folks are using this electric bike. Thank you for watching this review of the Jetson Bolt Pro. If you have any questions about this bike, 
please do not hesitate to leave me a comment in the comment section, as well as email me, reach me on Instagram, Facebook. I'll put a link for all of the ways that you can reach out to me in the description of this video. Also, let me know what other videos you would like me to make on this electric bike, or if you would like me to review any other electric bikes that are interested to you, or if you have any electric bikes and if you have any questions. This bike is very similar to, you know, DYU D3 and other electric bikes that are out there. So let me know if you have any questions about any of that. If you found this review helpful and if you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Comment below your thoughts. Share this video with your friends and families. And I'll see you soon on my next video. Namaste.